May ngadlaw sa inyong tanan. I saw most of you were getting confused with the old tutorial episode and were downloading the deprecated code instead of the new one. I made this video to hopefully clear up a few things and make it easier for people to get started. I will also be changing a few things in the tutorial playlist to make it a bit more streamlined. For people new to computer craft and Lua coding that want to build Omni drones, I recommend starting with a quick small project first to get you familiar with CCVS. So before moving on, try to learn how to write a Lua script to make a VS ship jump on a button press using a command computer. There are a lot of computer craft tutorial videos out there that should help you get started. Take a look at the CCVS wiki to learn more on how to use the extended ship API. You can use my mod pack that comes with the world download in the video description. You might also need to learn these few keywords in programming. If you feel ready, let's get started. Here I have my ship Baliana, and we are going to make her fly using a command computer. Type in ID and press enter to get the computer ID. Next we need to get the new Omni drone code from the GitHub repo. When you download and unzip it, you would notice that the lib folder is empty. That's because the Omni drone library is in its own GitHub repository. You have to download it separately. You should be able to download all of them in one go using git clone if you are a git bash user. Once we have our code, we drop it in our command computers folder. And start editing the code using a text editor of your choice. I am going to use Visual Studio Code. In our computer folder, we are going to make our own firmware script. Let's name it something simple. Besides our firmware script, there is a startup Lua script that runs one of the firmware scripts whenever the computer restarts. We can rewrite it to run our firmware script instead. In our firmware script, we need to use a drone base class to start flying our ship. There are a lot of different drone base classes to use, depending on what flight system your ship is built on. Since we are using a command computer, we are going to use this class. We reference it and create a new instance of the class. We save that instance in a local variable called drone. We also need to prepare a table to pass our configurations later. And then we call drone run. We then restart our computer to auto run our firmware script. The ship looks like it's doing nothing right now, but it is technically in flight, trying to correct its position. To tell it where to go, which direction to face, and sequence actions, we need to override our drone's custom flight loop behavior function. To learn more about how to use this function, you can watch this part of the old episode. If you think it moves too fast or too slow, then try adjusting the PID values through the instance configs table. I recommend watching Scott Wright's video about Lua based PID controllers to get you started on the topic. All of my drone based classes are different and have their own quirks. But that is basically how you would use any of them. Just be ready to add the right settings to the instance configs table. Check out the rest of the playlist on how to use the other drone based classes. I hope this makes it easier for you to get started. See you in the next video.